From the day I hold me boy, from the day I hold me boy, me mama say I'm a warrior. Oh, we, who are? From the day I hold me boy. As young Caribbean men, Caribbean boys at the time, we were looking for the keys that would indicate to us what it would mean to build our personal identities. So we gazed across the television, comic book, looking for our heroes. Superman and Batman were the people that we would emulate. Mind you, I'm from Point Fortin, and I really couldn't visualize Spider-Man running through the bush. <laughs> Next thing, the buildings were a little too short, you know, the little two-story thing. It would not work out for him. But somehow it's still implanted in your brain. And we looked and we just, we, we asking ourselves, what made these guys work? What was in their pattern of behavior, their code of conduct? A code of conduct not unlike the Bushido code of Japan with the samurai followed, which particularly looked at honor unto death. And even the code of chivalry of the Europeans, of the Knights Code. We held on to that as young Caribbean men, armed with a basic understanding of such. We experimented with those codes, and we lived them for a while. We discovered patterns in these codes, clues. We felt that these clues would lead us to this deep, elusive, magical state of being where everything we did would be pure magic. Wanga in Trinidad, for those who don't know. But some of these codes were lacking. They were like chimpanzees trying to use an iPad. They just couldn't quite help us solve the problems we were facing. So we decided we were going to dig a little deeper, search for that holy grail, for that magical performance. I live in alone. I live in alone in the jungle. I live in alone. I live in alone in the jungle. I live in alone in the jungle. Snake and lion, hard to humble. I live in alone. I live in alone in the jungle. That was the piercing cry of a voice of a warrior, of a man whose voice. And the lyrics of his song, or Lavoy, was laden with, with the pain, the struggle, the resistance, and the oppression that we felt. A hero, a, someone I, who looked like me, danced like me, sang like me, he was a stick fighter. Some of you all may know him as a stick man or a boy man. Trinidad and Tobago's, and even the wider Caribbean's very own ancient warrior who had come with his very own code, a Caribbean code, that resisted the um, colonial heel that stamped us down for quite some time. So Benji and I recognized that there is a Caribbean code. There is our code. And we were about to interact with it. What we came later on to understand that this code was simply this. To be beautiful in the face of death. To be excellent in the face of the impossible. So we looked at the stick fighter's code. And we noticed a strange pattern, a remarkable emphasis on beauty. Now, we have to understand this code was born in the tumult and chaos of the world's first globalization, what we now call colonialization. And because of the time it was born in, it was more apt to the time that we live in now. And the clue lied in the fact that the way the bouts were judged was not on point but on the intrinsic display of flowfulness. The more beautiful fighter, 
the more effective fighter won. This beauty and the fidelity that the stickmen have to being beautiful was somehow the key to their magic, the wang, the flowfulness. And then a kind of formula started developing for us where we understood that if you are faithful to your inner beauty and you act perfectly in the face of death, you're going to unlock some magical place inside of you where things begin to integrate. Some people say magic is just science that we don't understand. So then could it be that for us, the science of enhanced performance was missing this key element, this attachment or awareness of one's inner beauty? I put on the roll. I put on the rolling roller. Put on the roll, put on the rolling roller. Put on the rolling roller, coming down with me gold and silver. I put on the roll, I put on the rolling roller. The famous researcher of African culture and origins, Dr. Ivan Van Sertema, once said, the clues our history have been left by the ancestors all around us. And so the magic of Trinidad's code has also been imprinted all around us. The ancestors would have left clues in our rituals, in our traditions, and most, if not all, of our cultural manifestations. Such a manifest manifestation is calendar. You know it as stick fight. Well, let me show you something where the magic is. The stick fighter, you left home, left your children, left your wife, something calling you to this ring. You're not sure if you're coming back. So you walk into this ring of liberation with your song, your lavoy. Your lavoy is like your prayer, you know. It's your prayer. Today, 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 today in the Gaia. Today, 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 today in the Gaia. Today, today, Auntie Betsy go kill you here tonight. The drum beating, urging you on. Just like that voice you hear sometimes that urges you on or cautions you. The roar of the crowd, the roar of the crowd which gives you the energy to do what you have to do or make you a coward because you know what they want? Some of them want blood, but what they really want to see is a display of machismo, skill, and beauty. So what is this guy, this arena, this, for us, a circle of life? We began to realize it's a place where we could explore how to access our magic. This place where angels fear to tread. This place of transformation, death, rebirth. We recognize that this was a place where that galvanizing moment that Luke Skywalker had where they say, look, use the force, was daily practiced and tested. Just in our case, the mechanics of accessing the force was being beautiful to a fault. We recognize that grounded in this sense of internal beauty, one could face the guile of one's life walking out of the pavilion in Lourdes with the crowd booing you, going for that critical job interview, that negotiations that broke down with the labor union. If we could enter these spaces carrying with us this deep intrinsic sense of beauty, grounded in our wanga, our own magic, we would be able, as our transformed self, to be fearless, passionate, joyful, Trusting deeply that the universe will take care of us. 
And so, this place where the angels fear to tread became our home, our university, that place where we transformed ourselves. I'm brought up praying in mama, oh, Lord, I'm brought up praying in mama, oh, Lord, I'm brought up praying in mama, oh, Lord, Father, leave me, my father, this one. So, what is your boy? What is the instrument of your will? Because this game of stick fight, most people think, is a rum shop thing and a boss head thing. But it's far more than that. You don't win this game by bossing ahead. You all know that. When Brian Lara made the 500, did West Indies win that year? We don't win games like that. Not us, not us Caribbean people, not us Trinis. It's got to do it with style and beauty. You must step out with confidence. Your dance must be beautiful. Your breaks strong. And your cutting blow Cotton blow. Cotton blow. Must be amazing. And then a victor is crowned. King Stickman. Beauty. There's a saying. As goes the individual, so goes the village. So let's imagine for a second we interact with each other with beauty and flowfulness. We face each challenge, each conflict with a unique grace. A grace that we all feel on Carnival Tuesday when we chip in. What would happen if we face things beautifully? How would our world be and how would we be? So we leave you with one hope. A prayer even. Just remember this at the back of your mind. Your next encounter. Your next facing the face with the perfect enemy. Remember that you may be beautiful. No boy man no afraid, no boy man no afraid, no boy man, no boy man no afraid, no stick man, no boy man afraid, no demon, no boy man no afraid, no boy man no afraid, no boy man, no boy man afraid, no stick man, no boy man afraid, no demon, no boy man no afraid, no boy man no afraid, no boy man, no boy man no, no boy man no, no boy man no, ba ba ba. No boy man no afraid, no boy man no afraid, no boy man. No boy man afraid, no stick man, no boy man afraid, no demon. Thank you very much.